A cell phone company offers two plans for minutes. Plan A, $20 per month and $1 for every 100 texts. Okay, plan B, $50 per month with free unlimited texts. So the question is now, how many texts would you need to spend, send excuse me, per month for plan B to save you money? So it's a real kind of life question, right? You're going out to the store, going to buy a phone, and you got two plans. Which one are you going to choose? How are you going to figure it out? Well, the best way to do it is to kind of estimate then the number of texts you might be sending. Okay, and then that would it basically enable you to figure out which one would be cheaper. If you're going to send one text, right, then obviously plan A is the way to go. If you're going to send a million texts, plan B is the way to go. But what is the number of texts in which case you would be indifferent between plan A and plan B? That's basically what the question is asking. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically create two equations for both plans. All right. So let's say that, um, yeah, why don't we do this? So let's create an equation for plan A. I'll put that in black, plan A. Okay. It basically then the total cost of plan A, total cost, okay, would be the $20 per month. So we're going to write $20, you know, per month. We can write per month if we want. And then don't forget, though, it's going to, you know, multiply that by the number of months because that's also dependent, right? Number of months. So if you had the phone for two months, this obviously would have cost you 40 so far. And then plus $1 for every 100 texts. So the best way to do this is to kind of actually convert this instead of for every 100 texts. Tell me how much it costs per text. If it's $1, and that gets you basically 100 texts. My question then is one text costs you how much? It costs you one cent, right? Or one hundredth of a dollar. So what I'm actually going to do, it'll make our life easier to build this off of because they're asking us how many texts would you have to send per month? It's better that we have our variable in terms of per text or per single text rather than 100, okay? So they're both equal to one another, but it's just easier to work with this. So watch. What I'm going to say now is this plan A will then be $20 a month times the number of months, right? Plus then the dollar amount per text, which is one cent, times then the number of texts. Not the number of 100 texts, but just the number of texts. Because that's, right, the question is how many texts. So it's just easier. Hopefully that makes sense. How about now plan B? So plan B here, I'm going to write a very some, something very similar. So total, total cost will be then equal to now. So it says $50 per month. So again, it's going to be the $50 multiplied by the number of months you have the phone, right? Number of months. All right. And then plus now, well, wait a minute. It says free unlimited text. So who cares how many you send? You can send 20 million. It ain't going to cost you a dime. In other words, it costs you $0.00. Per text, so therefore it's going to be zero dollars times then the number of texts. And what's zero times anything? It's just nothing, right? It's just zero. So we can just leave that whole part out. All right. And here are the two equations. So now the question is asking how many texts would you need to spend per month for plan B to save you money? Um, it's an easier, uh, we could probably answer an easier question. At what point, well, possibly it might sound a little strange, but at what point would you be indifferent between plan A and plan B? In other words, how many texts would it take for plan A to equal plan B? The way, the reason why I like that is because it makes a little more, I think, it makes a little more sense, or it's easier to do the math instead of saying more or less. Sometimes equal sounds easier to solve. So in other words, what I'm asking is, when is the total cost of plan B equal, and remember that was in blue, equal to the total cost of plan A? which was in black. So if I set these two, if I set this equation, and I know what the total cost is for the uh, blue plan, or plan B, can I just put that in now? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this, I'm gonna write $50 times M, because instead of writing number of months, I'm just gonna write M, that represents number of months. Instead of writing the dollar sign, I'm just gonna leave it out, okay? Now that shall be equal to then the, <clears throat> 
the black equation, or plan A. So that was basically now 20, multiplied by then the number of months, which is M, plus then 0 0.1, times then the number of texts, I'm just going to call it T. Okay, so M here represents the number of months, T will represent then the number of texts. All right, so watch what I'm going to do here. So what I already realized is i got two unknowns in this equation. It sounds a little strange, but watch. I know that I'm probably going to have to combine the like terms, right? So I'm probably going to have to combine the 50M and the 20M. So why don't we do that? Okay, so I'm going to subtract on over now the 20M. And then subtract over the 20M. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do, let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, since we have the equations. All right. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm sure you're saying, of course I'm having a great day. We're doing this problem together. What could be better? I don't know. Root canal. Something like that might be better. So this is 30m. 30m is going to equal then 0 0.1 times t. Now, what do they want? And I'll put this in parentheses. What do they want us to find specifically? Watch. How many texts, how many texts would you need to spend per month? In other words, they're asking for the number of texts over or per, per month, right? Notice the units. Texts in the numerator, months in the denominator. Isn't that the same thing in terms of my variables here? Wasn't text the variable t? And wasn't the month's variable m? So what I have to do here is solve. I know this might look a little strange, but watch how easy this is. I have to solve for t over m, meaning the number of texts per month. And I have to solve this equation for t over m. How do we do it? Watch. Very simple. Pretend you had any two. Pretend you had uh, this, this setup. a times b is equal to c times d. You are allowed to bring any term diagonally across the equal sign. So you can bring the C from the top uh, right, basically, bring it down into the bottom left. You can bring the A from the top left, bring it down into the bottom right. And now what this would be, I noticed <laughs> my, uh, my D and A are definitely not proportional there. But basically now what it would be is it would be a fraction here, where B over D would equal C over A. Forget about those little multiplication signs. That's all, and you can do this with anything. You can now from here you can bring the b on down, right? And this you need a placeholder there, so that'd be one, right? But this would be one over d is equal to c over b times a. Now watch. What I'm going to do is the same idea, okay? What I'm going to do is the same idea here. I need to get on one side t over m. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to basically divide out the m from the left hand side and divide it on over to the right hand side. So notice I'd have t over m. So watch. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this with the parentheses. You don't have to, but I'll take it with the parentheses, bring it on down. Now I want t over m by itself, but wait a minute, I got this stupid point one attached, right? So what am I going to do with that? All I'm going to do is literally take it and bring it on down diagonally. And look, that's it. You just solve for it. So guess what? All you got to do in the calculator is now plug it in. Do 30 divided by 0.1. And what do you get? You get 300. What's T over M? It's just T over M. Now, re remember what this meant. This meant number of texts, number of tests, texts. Basically, it meant all of it, number of texts divided by the number of months, okay? But we know proportionally that it's really 300 over one. So how many months was it? It's really one month. So what's one month equivalent? It's just per month. Number of texts per month. I'm sure that part went a little fast, but that's all it is now. That's it. Okay. So how many texts would you need to send per month for plan B to save you money? Well, if you know that 300 texts per month is where you would be indifferent or where plan A would, the cost of plan A would equal the cost of plan B, then anything over 300, okay, uh, is the case when plan B would now save you money. So you can say, you know, T over, if T over M, the text per month is greater than 300, that's when you be saving money. All right. And that's it. Simple as that. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you're able to. 
And uh, if you're not, cool. We still love you anyway. Take care.